Let's talk a little bit about the new AMD Ryzen 9900X, the 9700X, and the 9600X, uh, and kind of go over a little bit about them and these results here. So I'm just going to sum this up for you right at the beginning. Please continue to listen. Uh, hopefully you'll stay with me for, until the end of this video so you can find out more about it. But basically what it says, on average, users uh, can expect 10 to 15 percent increase in single core performance and around 10 to 13 percent improvement in multi-core performance but let's just go through some of these new processors that amd are releasing and you know what a lot of people are excited about this because you know there's such a uh, a stink and hoopla and all kinds of stuff that's going on with intel right now maybe some people are switching over to uh, amd i just thought i'd throw that out there because it's it's probably true, right? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's go back here to this article. So the AMD upcoming Ryzen 9000 series processors are, um, you know, they are creating quite a buzz these days. And people are really looking forward to some more information on, on them. And they're built on the Zen 5 architecture. And these chips promise, you know, decent performance gains overall. I don't know if 10 to 15% is anything to jump up and down about to be honest but you know your top if you're getting a 9900x you're talking about top performance anyway and you know 10 percent, 15 percent on top of that is uh you know it's nothing to laugh about is it really so what are the some of the takeaways from this well you've got you know decent performance gains and you know it certainly shows that overall you know uh from the zen 4 based ryzen 7000 series uh, uh, this series the zen 5 will be a focus more on the um you know the multi-threading aspect of things now i don't know if you heard this or not i might have said this in another video i'm not sure but the 9000 series this is delayed i think it's sometime mid-august it's delayed to so if you're thinking about getting one of these, you're going to have a little while to wait. And maybe in some countries you'll have to wait till, you know, September, maybe a little later than that. And who knows, it could be further delayed if they run into uh, any issues whatsoever. I say hold off, take your time, release it when everything is perfect and there are no problems with it. That's almost impossible with hardware and you know, and all the configurations and every, it's amazing it works at all, to be honest. Uh, I used to, you know, back in the day, I've been at this for 20, 30 years. More, basically, I've been doing the videos and stuff here for like 24 years. But, you know, back in the day, like, you know, Windows 3.1 and, you know, when you had to install every single driver for every single component, it was a miracle back then, a miracle that it worked at all. And you were like amazed that you actually got a system stable. And when, you know, you put drives in RAID 0 and SLI video cards came out, that was like, uh, you know, that was just out of this world, um, you know, just, just incredible. So some important things to note here, uh, the, the, basically these are leaked, you know, kind of like benchmarks that, um, you know, got out and, um, you know, they look decent. Are you willing to pay, though, an extra, I don't know how much, 300 bucks for a top tier uh, CPU and gives you 10% more. I don't, I don't think I would personally, if you were getting a new system and this was the option, sure. You know, but upgrade to it. No, I, I, I really don't think so. But in any case, this is interesting, right? And that's why I did the video on it. So let me know your thoughts on this. See you in the next video.